Hello everyone, this is Priestess May from PriestessMay.com and you can also find me on YouTube.com slash Priestess May. So this is going to be the message for April 2019 for the collective energy of Capricorn. Now I want to keep I want you to keep in mind that if you are a Capricorn Sun, this may apply more to you um, if you have more of a masculine energy. If you are a Capricorn Moon and you have a more feminine energy, then this may apply to you a little bit as uh, better as well. So Capricorn, let's talk. So before I do the readings for all the readings, I meditate and I pray to feel kind of what the energy is of the sign overall. Now, this is a general message, so it may not apply to everyone. And um, the people that it does apply to, take it. If it doesn't apply to you, don't take it. As well as give things an opportunity to unfold as well, because there are, these may be things that still need time to unfold in this month of April 2019. So let's go ahead and see what's going on. When, Like I said before, when I was meditating on your energy, Capricorn, I was getting a little bit of mixed signals because a lot of you are receiving a lot of prosperity and abundance financially, but you feel overwhelmed because you don't feel like you have enough time or enough energy to pay attention to your personal life because your work life is taking up a lot of energy. Or um, some of you are feeling like your personal life is taking up way so much energy and you can't really focus on your financial endeavors and the things that you want to do like business-wise. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what your guides are saying collectively for the energy of Capricorn this month. Keep in mind that if you would like a more personal reading, that is more specific to your energy, you can book a reading with me on priestessmay.com and get a more exact reading for yourself, okay? So let's go ahead and see what is there this month. What I would like to ask your guardian angels is where are you now energetically? Um, where have you been energetically in the last month or so? And what is coming for you? What advice there is for you for what is coming at the end of April 2019? So the cards were being thrown down at me. So let's go ahead and take a look. So yes, strength, strength coming up here. Um, like I said, you are maybe a little bit overwhelmed. A lot of people are saying like, you're doing so well, you're doing so well, you're doing so well, but you, you're you not willing to ask for help. Um, or if you are asking for help, you can't seem to be able to find the right person to help you. Um, so you may be a little bit overwhelmed. I do see that a lot of you are kind of trying to get out of your, um, your traditional views on things, okay? Because some of you are being blocked by being too, um, too, how do I say this? Too specific with what you expect things to be, okay? Either religiously or spiritually, um, or if you're in school as well, you're you're being a little bit too traditional, or your your traditionality is is kind of like your strength, but it can also be your blockage, okay? So you have to be open to accepting other ways of doing things, okay? So I do see that this may you may need a little bit of study. I'm seeing you a lot like a very um, very much of an observer, okay? So previously, I'm seeing you very overwhelmed. A lot of you very overwhelmed, a lot of expectations from society on you or you putting a lot of expectations on yourself, which was overwhelming you. And that's your energy that you that you had that you were carrying with you before but now you're kind of looking at yourself you're looking in the mirror you're looking at your relationship and you're kind of like why is my relationship not going in the direction that I wanted to even though it does show me here with the knight of pentacles that financially things are moving better for you but um those who have money in the capricorn seem to not have enough enough time for love and those who have love seem to not have m money right now um so that is i do see a change in your relationship where a twin flame energy is going to come in but you have to be a little bit more um clear on what you expect from people so as you see when I'm doing intuitive readings I really connect with the energy and I'm even having a hard time with words right now this tells me that Capricorns you guys are having a hard time really expressing how you feel 
okay and that happens a lot with earth signs you do not feel comfortable with expressing your emotions or expressing um your thoughts or expressing the fact that maybe you you need help you're you're overwhelmed okay um and that i i pay attention to everything that happens during a reading when i'm having a hard time finding words that tells me that that particular energy is having a hard time expressing itself, okay? Because I'm a Sagittarius and I'm always talking, talking, talking. So whenever I have a hard time finding words or finding um, a way to describe something, it tells me that that sign and that energy is very confused or very um, having a very hard time communicating with others, okay? You are being called to do something greater right now in your life, Capricorn, um, to do something maybe a little bit more creative. You are, all of the signs seem to be going through their own awakening, okay? So you're gonna, you're, be, you're being awakened into a better way of life and I feel like this is very much spiritually. Um, and I feel like you feel a little scared as well of how your family may react, um, how your church may react, or how people around you may react because you're starting to maybe be more interested in the spiritual side of things, okay? I do see a little bit of a conflict with someone else. I see an argument happening for you this month. So be very careful with your words. Um, be very careful with how you say things because sometimes they are misconstrued and may be taken the wrong way. Um, I do feel that this month, Capricorn, you got to just get down and get to work and ask for the help that you need from whoever you need it from. But allow things to happen around you because if you are too involved, if you need to take more of an observer stance right now see how the knight of pentacles is kind of just absorb uh, she's just absorbing and uh, observing her environment she's sitting under a tree so this tells me very much that right now um capricorn you need to connect with earth you need to connect with the energies of earth um with earth beings um ancestral spirits that can help you as well develop but primarily with old 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 beings such as trees because trees are have a lot of a lot of knowledge a lot of wisdom and have years upon upon years of knowledge and understanding that we don't have so in order for you to get your emotions um in check and be able to really clearly understand what you're feeling and what you want to express you may also want to write these thoughts down so writing writing can be very very beneficial for you this month capricorn to really get your emotions your thoughts across the right way like i said be very careful because i do see an argument happening with someone else most likely an earth um an air sign or a fire sign you may kind of have a little bit of an argument there that may not end up as well as you want it to however at the end of it all i do see the chariot which is a symbol of movement it's a symbol of balance movement towards a better way so financially you will probably do very very well um after this month and your relationship will start to get better if you're having trouble in your relationship. I do feel like you need to release an energy that is an earth sign that gives you a lot of anxiety. Um, Capricorn, I'm getting the message that you're not supposed to cry in your relationship all the time. Um, you're not dating an onion, okay? So you need to let that go. You need to let that person go. Um, if you're constantly crying, you're not dating an onion, so you got to let that person go, okay? Um... <laughs> so this person here the this this king of swords is very 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 blunt very hurtful with his words um so if you are a female this may be a male um a male male uh earth sign i'm sorry air sign meaning aquarius gemini or libra um if you are a, 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 a male energy it could also be a um an air sign that is very very cutting and very disrespectful so you might want to release that energy because it is causing you a lot of anxiety and it is going to cost you a little bit of self-doubt and lack of confidence capricorn so my advice to you is sit down write things down sit under a tree take some time to observe the world around you don't try to control everything and let the help let those people who do want to help you let them help you and watch out for some arguments this month but overall i see things are going to get better for you you just have to let go of what you're being intuitively guided to let go of many blessings to you if you would like a reading with me you can book one on priestessmay.com bye bye